morning to you. Liverpool Music Week. We're going to touch on that before we finish at uh, uh, eight. Well, f- finish at eight thirty. That'd be an early dart for me before eight thirty. Uh, you may remember on Monday's program uh, we heard if you uh, lived in Wirral or West Lancashire, there's a fairly decent chance that you could be a Viking descent. You could even get the free hat as well. Well, last night there was an event that was uh, held to mark the publication of a study looking at just how strong the links are. The man behind it is Wirral-born Viking expert Professor Stephen Harding, who joins me again. Hi, Stephen. Hi, Tony. You know, these images we have of the Vikings with the uh, the horns on the helmets and that kind of thing, has that been given to us by the movies, or is that for real? <laughs> well, I think it's, it's both ways, really, because uh, uh, people push the, the violent aspects, and uh, they were indeed violent, or they could be violent, as much as anybody else around that time. But at the same time, uh, some people try to portray them as very, being sort of very sort of... Uh, uh, you know, placid, and, and it was something in between. So you had a mixture of the, the Kirk Douglas types and the, the Magnus Magnuson types, if you, I can quote their names. You, you, didn't, you didn't answer my question about the horns on the helmets, though, Stephen. Oh, this horns, is a crucial no, part. Yeah, that's crucial. Right, the horns, yeah, that, that, that's a total fallacy. They oh, didn't wear dear. horns. So that's something that came from the Victorians. But, dear, uh, dear. Uh, uh, people think of Vikings with horns, that's fine, but uh, in reality, it wasn't the case. God bless Nog in the Nog. Anyway, now, this, uh, the, the big survey, uh, last night the event was held to mark the publication of, of the study, and we heard about the, the event earlier on. H- how did it all go last night? It was, it was great. We, we really enjoyed it as, as organisers and speakers, and I think that the, uh, the, the audience uh, it, it enjoyed it too. Uh, it was a great turnout. We had, uh, I think, about 190 uh, came along last night. And uh, yeah, it went really well. And of course, last night we could we could actually tell what the results were, so we could be uh, absolutely open. Now, are there any Scouse Vikings? Because we we know the stories about the the Wirral Vikings. Did it cross the Mersey and uh, uh, the genetics? Uh, what about here in Liverpool? Uh, Viking blood or what? Absolutely. But don't forget that the, the, the survey was of the the old Scouse, the old uh, Wirral uh, West Lancashire population. That is, people. Uh, took part in the survey who had surnames that were present in the area uh, prior to the uh, Industrial Revolution. We had to do that to try and get around the the large population changes and movements into the area since the Industrial Revolution. But yet, Scouse Vikings is, uh, it's official, yeah. <laughs> and uh, the highlights, uh, what did you find? Well, there's, there was s- several interesting things that we, we, we found. First of all was the, the similarity between the uh, genetic results for Wirral and, uh, and, and West Lancashire. So the River Mersey doesn't seem to be a barrier at all in terms of uh, people moving and things. So uh, the Wirral is very close to, uh, to West Lancashire and uh, much closer than it is to uh, the, the, the rest of, uh, of, of Cheshire, which is uh, uh, quite surprising. But the other surprising thing was the strength of the, uh, the, the signal that came through because uh, uh, it seems that up to 50% of the, the blood of Old Wirral, Old West Lancashire, is uh, is, is Norse Viking, is, is, is Norwegian in origin. So finally you're turning into uh, Simon Sharma now. What, what's next? Are you planning more studies like this or what? <laughs> yeah, well we've got funding now to extend the study to uh, the the rest of Lancashire, North Lancashire, and uh, across to uh, to Cumbria and, uh, and, and and Yorkshire. Again, using this uh, the, this surname criteria to get behind these these population uh, movements so that will take another uh, two or three years to uh, to to complete but yeah it's uh, it's looking good